friends! My name is Alaska. I am your tiny house concierge and this is the channel where we talk about how to build lives that are better for our body, better for the planet, more fun, and less expensive. If that sounds good to you, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. I do release YouTube videos every Saturday morning at brunch and I would love to have you along for the ride. Today we're going to be continuing our storage series. And so we've already covered the living room and then the closets and stairs. Today we're gonna go ahead and move over to the kitchen, which I am particularly excited about because I love to cook. So yeah, let me start by giving you just a brief tour. <laughs> So now that we've talked about what's on the counter, now I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I do have hidden away. I know in one of my other videos we discussed a junk drawer. So friends, if you were curious about where the junk drawer is in my house, it's this one right here. And I will say, I cleaned it up a little bit for this YouTube video. I cheated a little bit, um, but not a lot. I have a pretty organized junk drawer. I'm just like that. Uh, yeah, I actually, I do have a junk drawer that's a drawer that's actually trash, but we'll get there. Um, yeah, so this is just the drawer for like essential oils, you know, Sharpies, supplements, random cords. Yeah, it's like, it's a junk drawer, right? Yeah, the end. <laughs> uh, this drawer, this drawer I don't have a lot in right now, and this drawer has been kind of a moving target. I don't totally know what this drawer is, but right now it appears to be an office drawer, which is, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know how I feel about this drawer, but that's how it exists today. This is like the, you know, the, what's that room in Harry Potter that changes depending on what you need? That's this drawer for me. <laughs> And this drawer. This drawer is probably the most important drawer um, in the tiny house kitchen. This is where the trash is. So if you don't live tiny, um, you should know that keeping your trash in a drawer is by far and away the best possible solution. Floor space is insanely valuable in a tiny house. You definitely don't want to like dedicate floor space to trash. So. This is my recycling bin over here, and then the trash, which I emptied, is right here. And the trash is like this big. So, you know, it's bigger than a bathroom trash, but smaller than a regular kitchen trash. It's like the size of a um, office trash, if that helps you. And I do get questions about smell. Like, does it, does it smell in a small space? And the answer is no. And if you will hang on just a second, I will show you why. It doesn't smell because of the freezer cube. So this is just literally a like box I bought at Walmart, like a plastic box I bought at Walmart. And then I lined it with a biodegradable bag. And this is where all the food waste goes. So eggshells, coffee grounds, shrimp tails, like what? Literally whatever is biodegradable um, goes in here and lives in the freezer. So on trash day, I just take this whole frozen ice cube and I put it in the trash for grass clippings and branches and that kind of thing. And that's actually where the composting toilet bag is also emptied, in case you were wondering. We'll get to the bathroom. Okay. So, yeah, the rest, it's pretty simple, the rest of it. Um, I've got alcohol wipes, uh, biodegradable bags for the toilet, 
ones for the freezer, and then my handy dandy little vacuum that lives in here. Okay, moving on. So we're gonna go into this lowest drawer here, and this is where I keep all of my pots and pans. And I want to tell you about this drawer with two caveats. One, I cook from scratch a lot. And two, I will say though that my cooking style has changed a lot since I've moved into a tiny house. So things like I substitute ingredients and recipes so that I don't have to buy more items. Or I might take something that's not intended to be a one pot meal and I will make it into a one pot meal that kind of thing. Um, that being said though, this has been plenty for me, what's in here. Even that time that I cooked Thanksgiving dinner from scratch in the tiny house, I had everything I needed. So if you haven't, that's unfortunately not a video, but it is an article on Tiny House Expedition. If you search Tiny House Expedition's website, just type in Tiny House Concierge, um, you can read about that fiesta. It was really fun. Um, yeah, but I have one single saucepan, I have one spaghetti pot, and a one regular sized frying pan, and then this, which is kind of like a cross between a frying pan and a wok-ish, I don't know what you call this, but yeah, that, that's all I have, that is all I need. And I think it's really fascinating that I'm so easily getting by on this many pots and pans, you know, because like I grew up in a house that had like four or five saucepans of different sizes. And, you know, I, I just house sat for somebody and they had a set of five frying pans, like smallest to biggest. And I, I you know, I love my friends, but they don't even like to cook, <laughs> you know, and I just, I... I think about, you know, growing up and the kitchens that I've been in over the years and friends, I think we have way too many kitchen gadgets and supplies. So anyway, if you've been wanting to pare down your kitchen in your regular sized house, I am not at all stressed about this situation right here. If, if that helps you out. Okay. So this is a drawer that I go into about a thousand times a day. And this is where I keep all of my kitchenware. So you saw the pots and pans. This is like the appliances section. And I'll just go through really quick what I have. Uh, this is a great space saving situation. Again, measuring cups and measuring spoons were another thing that growing up, we had like two or three pairs of them. And they were always mismatched and they were always like, chaotic. Um, I'm a really big fan of this situation right here. Um, this is the tiniest bar set ever. I do like a good dirty martini. So I've got my little sticks, my little wine cork. And as for a shaker, I just use a glass. So that, that concludes barware. <laughs> uh, over here I have Little thing to clean my water bottle, veggie peeler, wine opener, can opener, exactly one chopping knife, and like a few steak knives. Now, honestly, if you like to cook, you might be having a heart attack right now by the fact that I only own these two knives. Uh, I know, I know. And I could own more knives, but the reality is again, growing up, I had a huge butcher block thing with like a thousand knives in it. And I probably only used two or three of them. Uh, one of them was the big chopping knife done. The other was a serrated edge knife for like tomatoes, bread, that kind of thing. I know that this is a steak knife. But you know what? It's also serrated. I have never once had a moment 
where I pulled this out to cut a tomato and was like, if only my life was better. <laughs> like, I, I've had that thought about having too many knives that my life could be better. I have never had that thought about using a steak knife on a tomato or a piece of bread. And yes, I am somebody who likes to cook and no, I will not apologize. So, um, yeah. You also might notice I don't have a paring knife. <sighs> that one maybe occurs to me a little bit more. Maybe someday I will get a paring knife. But I'm just feeling fairly unmotivated because my life is just not, I like to cook, but it's not about pairing. So I just use this. Okay, moving on. Spatula. This is the best spatula that ever was. And I am going to, I wish I knew the brand. I don't. I bought the house furnished. It came with it. Um, but it's so heavy duty and it's so simple. And if you don't, if you haven't gone tiny yet, or you want to live a tiny house lifestyle in a regular sized home, this is key. Buy things that you really, really, really like. I am not sad that I don't have five spatulas because every single time I pull this out, this is exactly the one and only spatula for me that speaks to my heart. Like if I could get this spatula to sponsor my tiny house channel, I would, I love it that much. Um, and yeah, I, I've also, I've had people bring up like, well, what if you have other people over and they're cooking with you? How many people are going to be cooking in this kitchen? Like at, at most, probably one other person. And if that day comes, like someone will be stirring and someone can be chopping. Like there, we can have two jobs. We don't both need to have a spatula. We will survive. <laughs> so yeah, that concludes the tools. And over here we have just a thousand things of silverware. Maybe someday I'll have that many people over again. Came with the house. Ladle, spoony thing. And okay, this is kind of funny. I <laughs> use this all the time. I have never once used it on food. This is 100% to get things out from behind the couch when I drop it. And that concludes kitchenware. Okay, this is another drawer. This is a drawer that kind of reminds me of the office drawer in that something about it just feels a little unfinished and I, I don't know why. Um, I have my coffee mugs are in here. I have a jar for a recipe. I'm gonna do some pickling. Um, Tupperware type deals and muffin tins for the muffins I haven't made yet. Reminder, if you think I should make muffins, please put a recipe in the comments and I'll do it. Oh no, this is the drawer I didn't want to tell you about. <laughs> this is the drawer that makes me want to like cheat and skip it. This is the drawer that I was telling you about when we were looking at the junk drawer that I was like, I have a drawer that's actually trashed. Um, it's this one. <laughs> okay, let's break it apart, shall we? I have exactly one tablespoon of canola oil. I have barkeeper's friend. Okay, clearly I lied to you a little bit. I forgot about this. I use one chemical. And is this if you have an all-natural option for this I would actually really like to know about it um, but yeah why that's in with the food like I mm. uh, I've got a blender bottle um, which actually now that I'm doing this on camera I'm like this makes a lot more sense in this drawer to me uh, then we've got the thing that stops up the sink I've got the base to the blender slash food processor. I've got the refills of the oils that are on the counter. The spices that are refills for the spice rack behind me. <sighs> this drawer, like, I, I don't, all of this is like refill stuff and I don't use the blender a lot. So I can, for the most part, I just, actually I don't wanna put that. I'm gonna put this in the utility closet. So, yeah. 
I am not loving how this drawer exists, but it is what it is. Well, we're getting to the end, but I do have a few more drawers for you. Uh, this one, I guess this is like kitchen, kitchen appliance stuff that's too big for like the small utility drawer. Um, this is the coolest tiny house cooking piece of equipment that I have. And this is a strainer that just sits like on the sink like that. And it's flat, which is super convenient because strainers are otherwise really bulky. Um, then I have like the brownie pan and I own one cutting board. It's super thin. It's not cute. I don't love it, but it's a cutting board, you know, not going to lose sleep over it. And finally, that brings us to our last drawer. And this is a, I don't have a lot stored in this drawer, but I do have two things. I have two appliances that are like swanky specialty type appliances. Normally those things really upset and irritate me. Um, I don't know why. I just really have a thing about kitchens that are overly stocked. That brings us to our final kitchen storage item, which is the pull-out pantry. And this is one of my favorite things in my house, actually. If you have not gone tiny yet, these things are super convenient because it allows you to grab things and see everything really easily without having to dig to like the back of a cabinet of some kind. So as you can see, I've put everything that's pretty on top and then everything that is less aesthetically pleasing down at the bottom so I don't have to look at it. Um, as far as the jars, I refill these probably like once a month. So it takes a little bit more effort, but honestly it's way less annoying than I would have thought. It's actually not annoying at all. And I really enjoy looking at the jars, so I don't worry about that. Um, I do get a fair amount of questions about this piece. This is a custom, well, it's a modified piece. I, these are actually two bathroom carts. If you Google bathroom cart, that's a thing. It's like for toilet paper or something. Um, I just bought two of them and then I used hardware to attach one on top of the other. And then I, there were metal bars here that I sawed off and I just made these little like bungee things um, so that I could just get the jars in and out really easily. And I, I love it. It's worked really, really well. Um, so yeah, I bought this. I'll put a link in the description, but you can, you can buy them a lot of places. Um, also these are spice jars that are magnetic. So the lids just have little magnets. <sighs> I kind of have mixed feelings about this. It doesn't keep the spices as fresh as the original containers, but I just aesthetically like it so much and I cook often enough that I work my way through the spices before they get too terrible. Um, yeah. Oh, another question I get about this a lot is, is it sturdy? Um, yes, as far as going in and out, it's, it's like a tight enough fit that even if the house wasn't perfectly level, like this is not going anywhere this way. Um, when I pull it out like this way, it gets less stable, but I just don't pull it out all the way. All right, friends. Well, that concludes today. Thank you so much for joining me for part three of the tiny house storage tour kitchen edition. I hope you enjoyed going through my junk drawers and trash drawers and kitchenware. Um, and I hope that you join us next week. Actually, you definitely don't want to miss next week. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to this channel. And if you know anybody who likes tiny houses, go tell them to subscribe to this channel because next week we are going to tour the bathroom. And friends, not only are we going to get into the composting toilet, but we are also going to, I'm also going to show you the sauna that is in the bathroom. 
not clickbait. There's a thousand percent a sauna in my tiny house bathroom. So subscribe to the channel, invite your friends so that you don't miss it. And oh, one more thing. I am a former realtor and I am a current tiny homeowner. And I love to work one on one with people who are interested in transitioning into a slower paced tiny house lifestyle. So if if you have questions about that, um, I do one on one consulting and the link is in the bio. My calendar is open on my website. So choose your time slot and I will be there. All right, friends, thank you so much. One more time, my name is Alaska. This is the Tiny House Concierge, and I will see you in the next video.